Hey guys, Raiden here, and welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles 4. Uh, last time we went through a little mock exercise, and then experienced some early snow, which was troubling. Uh, I think it could be having to do with a Valkyrie, and that's why it's saying all the witch stuff. Where it's like, oh, there's a, there's the, the wicked witch or whatever that causes all this. It's a rumor myth legend. I'm not really sure. Um, who knows? By the way, for those who aren't watching, XCOM finally fixed my editing program. God damn it, Adobe. You're never straightforward. Anyways, uh, I also wanted to say, some people have been asking, like, Zeno, are, you're not going to be able to finish this before Three Houses. It's like, I don't, I don't have to finish this game before Three Houses. XCOM's, like, almost over. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> no worries about that. Anyways, let's go to the next mission. Point of no return. Winter has arrived. It's been gray skies and endless snow for days now. The first snowfall has come two months earlier than anticipated, and everyone knows what that could spell for our mission. We face an enemy more powerful than any army, nature itself. If the snow gets too heavy, it'll crush the hopes of Operation Northern Cross. No one wants to say it, but everyone's dreading what comes next. I can see it in their eyes. The farther we go, the further the temperature falls. Our morale's dropping with it. Well, that's depressing. Yeah, weather can affect how warfare goes a lot, so we'll see. <sighs> well, that's the last of the tea bags. Went through all the tea. We're not exactly provisioned for a cold winter here. From tomorrow on, I guess it's coffee for us. Weak, pot brewed coffee. That's a little depressing. Hey, Claude, when are we gonna get some real supplies? The ladies got their lumps to keep them warm, but I'm out here freezing my ass off. Whatever you say, Raz. If we don't get some winter gear soon, we're gonna freeze solid before we even get close to the imps. Command knows that. We can't march without winter equipment. But we can't afford to be on standby too long either. It's not just tea and food. We're low on fuel and ammo too. How can Northern Cross succeed like this? Miles. Anyone can see this shit's getting worse by the day. If we don't get off our asses, we'll just freeze faster. We gotta go somewhere, don't we? If I was an Imperial boss, I wouldn't be scared of some shivering Federation ice pops. I'd kick them while they're down. They could wipe us all out right now, just like that. Right. Command should know that, too. Whatever those guys are doing back at HQ, they better hurry it up. Who knows what they're doing. From what we saw in Valkyria Chronicles, uh, 1. Command isn't very competent. We probably don't have the same exact command that Welkin does, and we don't have that same, I can't remember his name, but the horrifically bad officer. But, you know, hopefully we have some competent people back there. Maybe they don't care, or maybe they know about what's causing the snow. I don't know. Too many variables. We'll figure it out. Chris. What? We're isolated out here. The weather, the snow, we, we don't have an open path back to HQ anymore. Oh, it's even blocking us off. Our supply line is completely cut off. Staying here on standby is a waste of time and resources. With a battalion of this size, even a retreat would require supplies. Who said we should retreat? The Imperial capital is right under our noses. We just have to push forward. Going further north without any winter gear? That would be kind of crazy. That's insane. I know you're worried, but we're running out of time. It's only going to get colder from here on. Claude. It's still October. We've got a while before the winter sets in. Commander, 
Winter isn't setting in. It's already here. You hear that on the wind? Lieutenant Wallace knows his weather. Even in the Academy, we knew how he heard the wind talk. He can look at the sky and predict weather, wind direction. He's more accurate than any weather report. I know I'd trust his forecasts over commands. They have no idea what it's like out here. Yeah, it would be kind of hard to tell command. Like, imagine you're sitting there and it's like midsummer, maybe fall, and you're just sitting there. It's like, uh, it's snowing. Can we get some supplies? And command's saying, like, is, is this a joke? Are, are, you, are you kidding? <laughs> we can't just sit here and freeze. We should push north before the snow traps us completely. That might be our only option. Lieutenant Wallace is right. We've no choice but to advance. There are some towns on the plains around the capital. They're not as well defended. If we don't have supplies, then we'll get supplies. Confiscation, pillaging, whatever it takes. Yeesh. But command says... If we move, it has to be now. It'll be nothing but Nimbo Stratus for days. Snow clouds. We have to go before the Winter Witch arrives. What are you talking about? Nothing. Never mind. The fact is, we're being pushed to our limits. Morale, supplies, the weather. If we don't move before the Empire does... Sir! Incoming transmission from the front lines! Oh, finally. And they say... We're in Samaria Valley. The Empire just launched an ambush from behind and... The Scotsman went down! We need backup before the... Well... Why is it that when things are calm, the radios sound fine, but, like, when we're in combat, they turn into, like, <laughs> radio static? Oh, Jesus. Here's where things go bad. Things are going too well. Where are they actually at? I don't see an elf. There they are. <laughs> Minerva! Please wake up! Minerva! Okay, she's not dead. That's a good sign. The cutscenes are so much better in this one, I have to say. In The Last Valkyria Chronicles, all the cutscenes, all the movement was so stagnant, I want to say. Like, they're taking the chance to do some awesome action scenes, characters are emoting a lot more. In VC1, everyone just kind of stood around or sat on something and just kind of made small gestures towards each other, you know? It's cool seeing this, finally. Is everyone okay? Of course we are! We're not gonna die before we get a shot at the imps! A messenger came by. The enemy outnumbers us two to one. Orders are to retreat. Huh. What a load of shit! I'm going out there, and if they come at me, I'm taking them- Raz, calm down. You can't go out against that many. You'd be throwing your life away. So you say we retreat, huh? Then tell me this, hotshot. Where the hell are we gonna retreat to? There's no safe places left! We need to get out of here. There's a fleet of tanks coming. We wouldn't stand a chance. <laughs> Raz, I don't want to retreat either, but... Raz, please don't tell me you're stupid enough to try and take on a tank battalion, because I know you're dumb, but you're reaching whole new levels. It'd be suicide, Raz. You'll die if you run out there, and I won't let that happen. Damn it. 
The Hoffman's ready to move out whenever. Just give the order. Okay. Everyone else is panicking right now. But that can't be us. This is what the Ranger Corps does. When things look impossible. We get through it. Right? We need to secure an escape route. Squaddy will bring up the rear. By the way, I saw in a comment, I'm not sure if it was a comment or on Twitter or Discord or whatever, but someone was like, when this game ends, they better buy vegetables from Largo. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted the, I want there to be like a calming cutscene at the end of the game where the war is over, it's just panicking, and you can see this tiny figure on a cliffside next to a patch of vegetables, and he's just screaming. <laughs> you all know this will be a dangerous mission. I'm asking for volunteers, not... It can happen. You Vegetables idiot. are necessary. It doesn't get more dangerous than this. Of course we'd be at the end of the line. We're going to do this together. Everyone. This isn't a last stand, right? Right. We're fighting to survive. Then let's go. My bombs can clear us a path. Our objective is to secure an escape route, then defend it until everyone gets out safe. By the way, I'm kind of curious, I'm just gonna ask this now. I know the series has been taking me a while to do just because of, like, my horrific tendencies as of late. But, uh, how many of you guys are watching this and haven't watched VC1 yet? I'm curious. Or maybe, since there have been so many long breaks between episodes, maybe you watched Valkyria Chronicles 1 in between this? I don't know. Interested to hear. Alright, so... Now, we can do the next mission. Although first I want to go back to base. Um, as much as that's supposed to be impossible right now, that's what we're doing. Did I already spend all of our XP? That looks like I did, but I can't quite tell. Okay. The fresh recruits can- Uh, that's not where I wanted to go. There. Let's see if we can get any orders from the mess hall. But it's a shame, you know? I want to feel like I'm getting out of it what I put into it. Yeah, Karen might be the one to ask. I'd love to learn all her tricks of the trade. Hmm? What are you talking about? Girl stuff. Why? You want in? What? Uh, oh, sorry, I, I, I didn't realize it was private. For God's sake, Riley, quit torturing the poor boy. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. We were just talking about Ragnade. Yeah, Ragnade girl stuff. That first aid order of yours really helps out in a pinch. Yeah, who would have thought using first aid would save people's lives? But for the rest of us, Ragnade doesn't always make the cut. So, what are you suggesting we do? Fire a sniper rifle full of syringes at them? True. When it comes to healing, combat classes don't get nearly as much bang for their buck as our engineers do. Yeah. But I want the Federation to get their money's work. So I tinkered a bit and whipped up a handy dandy amplifier. I'm glad she's feeling inventive, but the last handy dandy device she made ended up exploding. This will temporarily boost your healing power. But I had to disable the safety limiter, so just ignore the muscle spasms. What? Wait, what? <laughs> healing boost. Okay, yeah, I'll grab that. That's useful. I mean, I'm gonna grab all of these orders anyways, but... <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's experiment on a... I mean, let's apply it on the battlefield, shall we? Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, Riley. Uh, usually we have to have these things kind of approved by command, but I guess if you just want to make whatever, we'll just use it. No problem. <laughs> um, Let's skip out on R&D for right now. I don't think we're gonna find anything. Oh, hey, Claude. We're not building anything. Never mind, we are. More rifles. What? Yes, it is a masterpiece. Thank you. More machine guns. All done. More lances. What? <laughs> I, I, like, in my head, I picture she's like, Commander, calm down. We, we, we're talking about this. We just need to 
one thing at it. He's like, no, more snipers, more lances, more rifles, more machine guns. <laughs> he's like, sir, I can't build them this fast. Wow, I'm Okay, so... Uh, these are interesting, because these are an actual choice you can make. You can get the standard boost, which seems to be a mixture between the... It's like the half and half, because you have anti-personnel and anti-armor. Wow, the anti-armor is strong. Holy crap. Look at that. This one increases damage versus person times about 100. And this one increases the armor damage, so it's almost a completely different weapon type. Like, it's just meant for destroying tanks, which sounds awesome, or bunkers. I'm gonna get the standard for now, but maybe what we could do Whoa, is... We could take one Grenadier like Riley, and give them, like, a standard anti-tank, or a standard Grenadier item, then take the other Grenadier, and I'll give them mortars that will help us against tanks. I think that's a good way to go about this. What? What? Wow! <laughs> Just get all these upgrades. Doesn't hurt to. What? Plus we have the money for it since we've been doing so well in missions. Oh sick! We can actually get the firepower boost! I don't know what this is, but let's get the firepower boost! Wow! Real guns! Okay, but now I think I actually have to have everyone equip the guns I just handed out. So, let's do that. Um... Rez is still using this Robinson M19. Wow, the range dips for Imperial weapons. Holy, that's not even worth... That is not worth... Uh, Zyga, you're also using one? Cool. Uh... Ryan, you're using one. Fancy, I don't know about you, but I want you to use one. And, uh, I'm just picking the people I use the most. Farrier, you too. Oh, active means that they're on the squad right now. I want to take Fancy along. She looks fun. Um, let's see. Kegel. Well, actually, these standard ones... Yeah. Equip the standard one on all of them. Because I don't like losing that armor damage for anti-personnel lancer damage. Like, what? But you can have this. Uh, for engineers... I want you all to equip... Yeah, just equip the brown M1. I think you already have that equipped. For snipers, I think Kai is a special rifle right now. It does less damage, but has increased range. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh no, someone else using it. Okay, that's fine. And for Grenadiers, like I said... I want her to use... Well, no, because she has the new special types of shot. She has... The anti-armor shots now, doesn't she? Hmm. It's kind of hard to decide, because I feel like I use mortars on people a lot, but I also use it on armor. But seeing as how we're about to face a whole... Battalion of tanks, and there's likely not about to be any turrets or bunkers. Let's equip this on Riley. And we also have some of these accessories we can equip to people that I haven't really been. Um, you know, I can worry about them later, though. They're not huge deals, but... Alright, let's develop the Hoffen a bit. I'm gonna keep calling it the Hoffen. No one can stop me. Uh, let's get... A reinforced body. All done. And reinforced armor. All done. I like the mortars, but let's see if we can get a gun upgrade. Looks like we can't, so I'll just go with the mortars for now. What? I'm gonna save our money by putting almost no points into the cactus, maybe except for body enhancements like reinforced armor. Whoa! Just say it every time. Um, I'm not really... Oh, I can make it carry extra people. That's cool. But let's get a reinforced body. Whoa. 
And let's stick this in there, so that way the cactus doesn't just get blown up every time I use it. I think I actually just didn't stick it in there. I said I would. Let's get the extra carrier. Uh, I'm not going to probably upgrade the extra carrier any further, because it can carry plenty of people, but it would be nice to have more. I know I haven't really uh, invested in installing the tank parts on the Hoffin that much, but they just don't have the parts that I want yet, so I don't really see a reason to. Alright, so with that done, let's head out and do the thing. Yeah. I hate how you have to manually save in this game. It worries me every time, the fact this game doesn't have any form of autosave, because, or maybe it does and I just don't know, but, like, I have to remember to save every single time, and it's kind of annoying. But, you know, maybe that's just me being a picky man. I don't know. I need you all to stay calm and listen. Yikes. We're under siege and must abandon the base. Our allies are already retreating, but it won't be long before the enemy catches up. Squad E, I need you to bring up the rear and secure an escape route for our allies. First, you'll have to recapture all the camps in the base. From there, you've got to fend off the enemy until we're finished with drawing. Reports also indicate that enemy reinforcements are on the way. If we lose even one of our camps, there's no stopping the Imperials. I know it's going to be a brutal fight, but I need you to do this. Alright, sick. Wait, who's the one? Oh, that's probably the cactus. I was like, who's that one guy over there? Alright, so mission info. All enemy cap camps are captured. The enemy occupies your base camp. 20 turns pass. All allied infantry fall in action. Okay. Alright. Oh, the cactus actually isn't deployed. So the cactus deploys there, if I need him. Uh, let's grab some people who are probably going to be good in this situation. Why is everyone, like, klutz? Clumsy. Uh, let's grab... Godwin. Do what I want. Let's grab... Raz, of course. Lock and load. Let's get... Get Ryan. Ready for action. Let's take Kegel. Always love Kegel. He's amazing. Stay calm and focused. Let's take Eileen. I'll watch over you. Kai. I've got this. Riley. And do you want another grenadier? Probably won't need one, so let's take... Let's take another Lancer, just in case. Let's take Laurent. Let's do it. He sounds like a child. Okay. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should take a second Engineer instead of a second Lancer. Preparation let's do that. Isn't where it ends. Not for you, and certainly not for me. Capture the enemy base and secure an escape route for our allies. Squad E, move out! Get in that tank, boy. I still I actually have a model Hoffin now. I'm super excited. Oh, uh, that's fire. That fire is so Those hot it's on the map. Gone too far. It's just fire everywhere I look! A Hoffin should be able to cross through the flames safely. But foot soldiers need to avoid them at all costs. That's an inferno. We won't make it out alive. We gotta watch out for soldiers and flames, huh? Well, I know how to kill one of those. <laughs> Eliminate the enemies and secure an escape route for our allies. Squad E, move out! I know how to kill one of those. Just starts bringing buckets of water to the fire. <laughs> Just yelling at the Imperials while putting out the fire. I'd imagine the... Can the Hoffman go through the fire? I, I feel like it can't. 
but that's probably why it's over here, because it doesn't really matter if it's on fire or not. But, but let's take this route first, why not? So what are we going to do here? We start off and we are faced with three medium, or no, a medium tank, a light tank, a lancer, and a shock trooper. So I'd say our best bet is to actually take out the lancer with Kai here, who is sadly in vision of everything. So we're going to see our first step is. I oh there's a tower over there. It missed. Fall back. And we can get up in one turn. Perfect. All right, so we can pick off a lot of enemies from here. So here's one. Sadly, I gave Kai the reduced range sniper rifle, I think. She's using the normal one now, so hitting headshots from further away is going to be more difficult. Luckily, Kai is very accurate. Can we kill that guy if we wanted to? We can. Another one down. Nice. She can oh, yeah. see a lot from here, which is great. So hungry. Uh, looks like there's a grenadier out there who's also a captain. I think it's the first sniper shot we missed like this entire time. I wouldn't mind actually bringing an engineer up to her to help her with her ammo issue. But for right now, uh, I actually want to take the cactus. Evacuate? Oh no, that's not what I want to do. Um, let's take some of our weaker units and have them board the cactus. Board. I wish these two could, but they can't make it there. Yep, Alright, let's move the cactus forward now. There they are. That looks like an explosive crate. Am I wrong? Eh, yeah, let's try it. Here it comes. Did that help? Tutorial, explosives and fire. Some obstacles blocking your path can be demolished by detonating explosives. The train will then be on fire. Infantry can't move through, but vehicles can. Alright. Well, that guy's just done for. We're completely surrounded. Found him. Watch out for counterattacks. Alright, so we can actually have the Hoffman get through here then and shoot this one in the back. They're getting desperate now. I'm actually going to park this one here. End our current action. I probably should have taken the engineer with them, but there's not much I can do regardless. So let's move the Hoffman forward and have it shoot. Yeah, I just didn't want to take the risk of trying to ride the Hoffman through the fire and watching it explode. You know... That's one down. No! Alright, and next we'll have people get out of here. Deploy. We're gonna deploy Raz. Here comes the pain. And he can go crazy. Don't stop! You're <laughs> going to break Bring it on. Keep calm. Ow. Jeez. Here, have this. Come on. Uh, he's a little close to that guy, and I'm not really a fan of that. Who else is in the cactus? We have a lancer in the cactus too. I might actually take another turn to. Move the cactus up and try to take out this grenadier. Or this guy right here, actually. Cover! 
Because if I moved Raz, he would have just been shot instantly. Armor or no. Would be nice to get another sniper over here, perhaps. Wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Alright, Raz, go forward, take the this. camp, and then hopefully we can take out that other grenadier that's hanging out right there. That's done for now. Your own damn fault. Target destroyed. Very good. I like all the new mechanics they're adding, though. As I said, the game feels... I wouldn't say samey, but it feels very familiar to Valkyria 1. But there are a few things they put in to, like, kind of spice it up, I'd say. Sadly, the thing I am a little worried about is the fact that... I'm not going to be able to take this out this turn. Or will I? Just don't get Let's deploy Godwin. Way. Someone's going to get blown up at base camp if I don't. Oh, that's right. Godwin's a scout, not a lancer. Whoops. Oh, well. we'll as long off. as I deployed him, uh, let's go ahead and take out... Or attempt to take out someone. Or maybe we could scout a little, as the title of his job implies... That's Ragnate, isn't it? Doesn't actually blow up, though. I don't think they're charged. Oh. We're completely surrounded. Hi. Keep to the enemy's blind spot. Yeah, let's just not. Alright, so base camp's probably going to get demolished by that tank over there. Um We do have a grenadier though, who might uh oh. Ugh, that hurt. Okay. Lesson learned don't keep snipers up in the sniper tower. <laughs> she might just die. No, okay. Maybe not. Sir, that's a mistake. That is a huge mistake. All right. Oh, Riley. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know, after Valkyria Chronicles 1, you guys remember that moment? That freaking cross-map headshot from the tank onto the tower? Oh, that scared me for a second. I thought it was about to happen again. I would have been so upset. I would have been so angry. All right, well, we do need to get a Lancer over there behind that tank. Problem is, I don't think I'd be able to this turn. Let's move. I can try and move Kegel Tell up, but I don't know down. if it's going to gun him down before he can get back there. I found him. Don't let up the attack. Nope, it's not. And I might as well take a shot this time because... How's this? Why not? I, I should have put a Lancer in there too, but the problem is the Lancer didn't spawn close enough to the Cactus, so I just decided to leave him there. Commencing count. Ow. How's this? One more turn should do it, and we should be able to take it out. I just don't want this thing firing at us. I gotta find where that other sniper was that dogs. shot at Kai. How's this? I need to get rid of him as soon as possible, because right now he's really her only threat. But we will see. Alright, Kai. Can I see him on the map, perhaps? I saw him fire at Kai. No, we can't. Alright, we'll have to keep scouting if we want to, which is fine, because we have scouts and such. Um... No, look, I have Let's a take choice. Godwin and move him through this left camp, actually. There's a lot we can avoid by going through here. Actually, you know what? I could stand up here. We Probably get a good there. view of a lot. You can't hide for long. Oh, is that the sniper? I can't tell. I can see something over there, but... 
This is an impossible shot, and we don't even have the range on our gun to really take it. Alright, is this close enough? It is. He's not looking either, I don't think. Like that. Boy, those shots were bad. <laughs> that was not a good. Godwin, come on. All right. Well. Now advancing. Let's have Kai try and shoot the sniper if we can find them. It's just someone that Kai can see behind this house. I can't even see a glimpse of their model. Oh, hey, explosives. One shot's all I need. We have orders to abandon our position. Is he gonna die? I can't tell. Anyways, let's get down from here for now. I don't want to get shot by that guy again. I'm sure hitting these explosives is probably helping. Um, it's going to keep them from going straight through here at the very least, which is nice. I'm thinking we try to get behind their camp by going this way with a shock trooper. I think that may be our most viable option, but we will see. Um, okay, moving out. I'm gonna move the Hoffman up first of all. It's very unclear to me what like the main point of this map is. I suppose. Burn it all to the ground. Cause it's not like it's not like it's super easy, but like I don't, I haven't really run into a threat yet. Knowing Valkyria, it's probably gonna be like, oh look who's here! Five Valkyrias riding Optimus Prime deal with it somehow, and I'm like, okay, thanks, video game. I got just question marks. Fire! Wow, that damage was bad. Okay, well, that's fine. It'll, we'll, we'll, we'll live. <laughs> Alright, Raz, you should be a bit more healed up <laughs> by now. I want to hide Raz from these people, but some of them may be kind of impossible to. I got this. We could sneak between those two tent areas, but you? Oh no, it's gonna hit this, isn't it? Still gonna try for it. Nope, those aren't actual objects. Sometimes it's hard to tell what your bullets will collide with and what they won't. Hopefully he's safe here. <laughs> Not exactly behind cover, but... You know. I think he'll be okay. Alright, let's take... I don't know who I want to take. Let's take Eileen over and actually resupply Kai. I think she could still get a few good shots from here, so why not? And I guess we'll start moving her up. Right about here. I don't know where that sniper went, so it's kind of risky leaving people out in the open. Let's see what they do. There's the sniper. Yikes. Urgh. Luckily, he can't hit the broad side of a barn. Oh. Yeah! You guys are lucking out today. Alright, let's go behind them and get that camp, shall we? I want to scout. It's not like I have a choice. <laughs> it's not like I have a choice. I'm the only scout here. 
Oh, come on, God. I can't wait to read some of these characters' backstories. Very curious. I feel like reading them earlier on may be... May be more beneficial to the series rather than reading them in a giant episode right at the very end. Like that. Because that's what I did last time, and I feel like not knowing about their backstories really kind of no hurt the experience a little. So maybe between one of these episodes, I'll take some time and go through, like, the logs and read about all of them. And I'll just create an episode for that. Oh, there's rubble here, so we can't actually get through, but a tank... Oh, I see now. I don't know how I didn't notice that before. I'm just not very observant. Okay, that's fine, though, because all that means is we need to load people onto the cactus and then have the cactus run through and do a thing. So the people I want with the cactus, I want Kegel. Get in. And... I want... Raz? Actually, I think the cactus can just drive up to Raz and pick him up, can it? I feel like it can. Come here, Raz. We're gonna go around back. Same for Godwin, I suppose. All units, now I'm starting to see the use of the cactus with all these flames. Because before, I just yeah, had to yeah. use it to get past some of these guns, which I was kind of just riding around in Found some them. ways. But now... Now we're making use of this. Uh, oh my god. These things still don't feel good to control. They feel better, but not Attack good. I'm debating if we should go through... If we go through here, we can take their last camp, which means we just win. So, I, I'm not going to argue against that, actually. Yeah, yeah. What did I just run into? Engaging. You. Out. Good thing he stood up. Here it comes. Kill <laughs> and that's the level. <laughs> that I could have actually done that a lot faster if I realized how this worked, but I was kind of worried there was stuff back here. Let's deploy Raz. All right, got their base. That was easy. <laughs> Great work, everyone. Our allies can escape now. That can't now be we it. Just need to get everyone evacuated, and we'll be. Oh, here it comes. Whoa! Now this is a show, ladies and gentlemen. But we're not late to the party, are we? It's that tank. When we fought at Siegfall, we can't afford to retreat. We're not leaving anyone behind. Everyone, keep defending the camps. Oh no, this just turned into a defense map. Defend camps for four turns. The enemy occupies an allied camp, just any. So where are these guys? There's still the tank over there. That's something we'll have to deal with, but... The thing is, I don't know where those new tanks are spawning at. I'm assuming they're going to come from this direction. So, I think what I should do is this turn, I'll take our Lancer out of the cactus and... Uh-oh. At least Riley's still back there. That's the good part. Oh, shit. Two Lancers. Okay, um... Okay, at least we got a bunch of our CP back. That's fine. So, first thing, I'm going to take care of this guy, no matter what I do. I also really need to get rid of these Lancers, which I probably could... Oh, you know what I just realized? Maybe. Kai can get back up in this thing and probably take out that Grenadier that's following... ...our new little tank friend here, if she can see them. Which it looks like she can. Oh, there's two, in fact. There. Kai, you're wonderful. 
Moving out. All right. So now we go for the next one. Aim up towards the head, and another one down. So the Grenadier team they took with the tank has now been extinguished. I'm probably going to use Kai's last shot to take care of one of those Lancers on the left side. Smooth sailing. Especially since she has boosted so everything right now. Except for the fact that she's getting hungry, I guess. Oh, can she not see them? She might not be able to see them. Hmm, she can't. What's above? Oh! Oh! Oh, I see you. I see you. Fight. They're too far, though. I'm actually getting damage reduction. Alright, let's get out of the tower now, or else we're gonna get shot at by that thing. <sighs> Riley, we can't really move closer, so I'm not gonna ask you to. But once it moves closer, we'll... No, I should actually take Riley and move her up to this camp up here. The problem is it would take too many turns because her movement's not fantastic. But I think it's better than just recalling her straight up, so... Let's grab Riley and just move her closer. Okay, yeah, it may have been better just to retreat her and then recall her at the other base, but we'll be fine. I wonder. Is it too far? No! The <laughs> trash can! No, Riley! We messed it up. We messed it up. Put it away, Riley. Oh, maybe we can get it now. Come on, Riley. Let's do this. Eh, it's still slightly too far. It's okay. The good thing about her being here, though, is that she can actually just... gun it down when it comes close. Alright, um... I'm gonna do what I said I was gonna do before. And I'm going to deploy Kegel from the cactus. Tell me, who's your, who's your uh, favorite looking non-story character so far? I haven't gone through the stories, so obviously we don't have a grip on their backstories, but there's like a character you like, how they look. Who is it? Here I come. Awesome. Still just a rookie. <laughs> nice shot. He's super into it. I, I wouldn't know so far. Um, some of these guys have some very interesting personalities. I don't think I could choose yet. Alright, I want to keep the Hoffman back here because I don't want them shooting our radiator. But... I could probably start moving... No, I want to leave Raz here to... Doesn't matter if the cactus gets blown up, that's one thing. <laughs> Let's do this! But I for sure want to leave Raz here because... A, he's not going to be able to make it over to those guys. So it doesn't really matter. That's all I can do this turn, anyways. I'm gonna just stare at him like, what was that? Fire. Alright. Um. No, we could actually take out both those guys. It's gonna be kind of a risky move. Advancing. But the Hoffins should be able to do it in one turn, no problem. Sorry, squatty. Hold out just a little more. Fire! I just have to get rid of both of them, or else they're gonna come barreling in. Advancing! Then I'll move the Hoffman back to protect this camp on the side here. Perfect. They might be soldiers after all. Ladies and gentlemen, show me what you can do. So those two have been taken care of. And yeah. So unless that tank has super movement, I think our bases will be safe. Plus, I have a few soldiers who are just... Oh, wow. More. Thank God those weren't Lancers. Let's dance. What? Do they just have fire resistance now? Oh, no. Don't go that way. 
Well, I mean, it's not terrible, but... If he goes that way, I don't think I have much of a way to stop him. Wait, is that tank the one from Zigfall? I knew it. I knew we were meant to meet again. Whatever oh, you say. Good. That's real good. God, what a rush. Come on, honey. We're soulmates, you and I. Your ambitions. Let's get wild. This guy's super into it. Show me a good time. Oh no. Damn it. Ugh, luckily the cactus can take a hit or two, but I don't have a grenadier over there. I don't I have a lancer, which is a start, but I don't have anything that can seriously do damage. I was kind of hoping he'd charge our base camp. I didn't think he'd just go barreling north. Let's see. It looks like they're all going that way, so. I'm probably going to have to recall a lot of soldiers and head north. Luckily, Kai should be able to take out a few of them, but still, even at that. Oh my god. I didn't think they'd just all charge up to that base. I don't even know if we can defend right, that. So what now? Let's dance. Oh no. oh no. Oh that's not that bad. That's really not that bad. Alright, we'll sing. Okay. This just got a bit more complicated. I don't have that many people over here who can sit here and protect. I have Raz, but that's not really gonna help us that much. Um. Alright. I could try and move up the Hoffin behind him and try to shoot. No, the radiator's on his top. So approaching from behind doesn't even matter. Advancing! Alright, let's take the Hoffin and move it this way. Did we always have this huge plating on the sides of the Hoffin? Or are these some of the upgrades we've gotten? Because if so, that's really cool. I like the fact that we can actually see what we're adding on to. This isn't good. Ow. Hey there, boys. Wide open. Target destroyed. They're okay, so that's two down. I need to get someone over the Hoffman to repair it now. Luckily, we have an engineer right around here. Eileen. They may... They're definitely not going to be able to make it over there in one turn, but... We need someone over there to just Hold guarantee its safety. Alright. Kai, I'm going to move you up in that tower because it's out of the radius of the... Now explosion dancing. here. Rebecca can get hit. I don't really care. Honestly. It would be a waste to CP to go and save her. I know that's cruel, but it is. Alright, let's get rid of one of these scouts while we can. Fine. Damn it. Kai, you're doing so well. I guess you had the increased accuracy rifle before this, so. Alright, so I think I'm going to need to give some orders to survive this one. Orders. What do we have? We have attack boost. We have fortify armor, which fortifies a tank's armor, which I might do for the cactus, actually. I don't think that'd be a bad idea. We have first aid. We don't really need that. Do we have the thing that does anti-tank damage? No, we don't yet. I was kind of hoping for it. Okay. We can get the Hoffman closer. It's not a ton of damage, but it's something. I need to recall Riley, I think. I need to have her retreat. 
Evacuate. I'm gonna call her back to this frontal camp. Riley, come back. We'll need you. Um, I'm going to fortify everything right now. I'm going to give an order to the Hoffin to fortify its armor. This is an order. Just to make sure this defense. thing can't we have to hit us this. too hard. Now I'm going to move up our yeah, engineer yeah. to repair the Hoffin. Hopefully it's still close enough. It is. I'm a little worried about the enemy tank driving around the Hoffin and just going for it, but we'll see. And lastly, let's move up. Once again, I don't care if the cactus gets blown up. It's not carrying anyone anymore, so... I'm actually, since we're not, we're guaranteed to not take out that tank this time, I'm going to take out the soldier, because he's eerily close to base camp. I really don't like that. Oh, if I even can. No, I can't. Maybe if I had a mortar fired at him? Maybe? Let's see. At the very least, I could make him back off. There we go. I see. Alright, let's see. I have my plating angled, so... Maybe? Oh, no. Please don't fire at her radiator. <laughs> what a tragedy! Oh, they're fine. <laughs> I was like, I'm prepared to let them suffer! It's like, oh wait, no, they're, they're doing it. They're okay. let's dance. At least they waste most of their CP making themselves fireproof. But once again, our radiator's open to them. Luckily, I gave the tank defense buff, but... And they're firing at the cactus. Which is fine with me once again. It's just the cactus. Cactus, you've done a great job. You were a humble, perfect target for this operation. Oh no. Oh, I don't have anyone at that camp. I can move someone over there, no problem, but right now no one's over there. This mission's really difficult. Um, it's, once again, it's the Valkyria Chronicle sort of difficult, where because you don't know what's gonna happen, it's hard, but... It's just, you, <laughs> they're, they're doing really well at diverting my attention towards elsewhere, that's for sure. All right, soulmate, let's dance. I'll give Please it don't do it head. at that top camp. I can't protect the top camp if you blast it with mortars. Okay, no, I can deal with that. That's okay. I need to get someone back there to that middle camp, though, because if someone isn't, we lose. I might have Eileen turn around and try to take out those two Lancers. I'm unsure. Riley? You know what you have to do. Found them. Don't do that. Climb back over. Let's provide support with the Hoffin. Yeah, they're calling it the Hoffin. Confirm. I know I've said it several times, but once again, I take so many breaks between playing this. Alright. Fire! He did. Whoa there! I think that missed. That sucks. We can try again, don't worry. But I need to make sure this middle base camp is safe at all costs, so I'm gonna prioritize that right now. Um, do I have like a movement boost I can do? I don't think so, but... No, I don't. So the problem is he's... A shock trooper. He can't run that far. Where I belong. Especially in one turn. There. 
sure as hell try, though. We're on our way. Yeah, he will be able to. Never mind. Now, will he be able to defend the entire camp by himself? We'll see. Found him. Especially since there's no more barricades at all? Burn to death or bleed to death. Oh, Good no. Choice. Well, at the very least, he can take out those two and then fight off those two shock troopers after his turn ends. Maybe Kai can see one of those shock troopers. I don't know. Time to go. All right, so we got to fire at this guy and then we'll turn around and do our best to deal with the other ones. Defensively, Who's that is. Next? Maybe I'll give him an evasion boost, actually. Because I need him to stay in this circle. I need to put him in a position so that if they blow him up with a grenade, he flies back into the square. Regardless. So... Oh, shit. Still that ring there. I completely forgot. Oh, no. Oh, no. I forgot about it. That's what happens when you have to... Someone asks you to do something, you have to get up. Okay, he's out of it now. Still, though. Alright. Alright, Kai, can you see anyone? Oh, it broke the ladder! Shit! Well, Kai's turn just went to waste. All units, assume formation at once. Oh, maybe not. There. God damn it, Kai, you're missing everything. <laughs> This is what I get for trading off accuracy. Although, honestly, I kind of do prefer the damage, like people recommended. Alright. Um, we got rid of those two who were a danger to the uh, Hoffen. So that's a start. I'm actually going to put Riley back here. Well, let's try and hit that gun. Come on. Think it's doing damage, so that's good. I'm thinking of actually walking up and trying to repair the cactus because if I do that, uh, the cactus will be able to take more hits, and I can also go and resupply Riley. Not that she really needs to be, but. Now this little guy can take a few more hits, which will be nice. Uh, thanks. They got me marked. Okay, and Riley with one last shot. Here I go. Doing lots of damage. Oh no. Oh shit, those two are snipers also. There's no way Godwin can defend against... I think I just failed the mission. God damn it. Should have turned around the cactus and went back there or something. Alright, soulmate. Let's dance. Ausbruch. Let's break them. There's no way he's going to survive this. Holy shit. I wish I hadn't blown up those barricades, though. Had I known, I wouldn't have done it. On the bright side, we are keeping the Vulcan occupied, but like, I... Show me a good time. We're not going to survive. They're going to shoot Godwin. They're going to charge our base, and it's going to be over. Or, sorry, I keep calling him Godwin. His name's Ryan. Godwin was the other guy. Should have given him that boost. I forgot about it, though. He's dead. He is so dead. 
What? Do the snipers actually have a close range, uh... Like a close range modifier? Maybe they do. Come on. Just survive a Too little long. Oh, yes! Look at our hero, Ryan. Sorry, I kept calling you Godwin. Fire yes. back. Left him at 1 HP exactly. Alright, now I just have to deal with the last... Fuck, please don't be a scout. Oh, no. What? Shit. Survive! <laughs> Ryan! This is saving Private Ryan, literally. Ryan, make your last stand. Make it valiantly. Charge and yell. Let me hear your heart's passions. Fight them all. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. Look at this man. Screw th 313 Archer. It's Ryan time. Move over. Friendship with 313 Archer ended. Shit. Friendship. Ryan is not my best friend. Although, to be honest, I never really experienced the 313 Archer thing. Because I kind of ignored the way he was supposed to work. But eh, whatever. All right, soulmate. Let's dance. I'll give it to you hot and heavy. Ryan, just one more turn. One more turn, that's all you have to live for. <laughs> all right, we can do this now. You just have to pick and choose carefully. Okay, first off, let's heal him up with an order. Or maybe just a defense boost would do him okay. I have to give him an order of some kind, though. Let's give him an infantry defense boost. This is an order. Defense and we can have him throw a grenade at those Freeze last two that attack. are over there. Don't underestimate me. Come on, Ryan. Is where I belong. Yeah, let's go, Eye Patch Man. Come on. Two down. No! Huh? Oh, there's some guy way over there that can see him. Stand your ground. Is this person an engineer? They are. They can repair the barricades around that base, actually. No, but I need someone here defending this one is the problem. Is this far enough? It looks far enough. I'm gonna say it is. Oh. God damn it, I should have looked at the larger map. Okay, whatever. Alright, Kai, I actually want you to see if you can go catch up with Ryan and uh, stand in the square with him. Are there people we can see through there? I'd imagine so, but I'm not entirely sure. Alright, Kai, uh... Alright, Riley? You ready for this? Take down this enemy. Or at least take out his treads. I don't know really what we're doing here, but... He's dead! Well, this got nasty! Oh, damn! One more for me. Yep. The funny part is I killed him earlier too, but I guess it wasn't actually a death. It was like a fire emblem death where you take him out and they're like, no, and then you see them in the next mission. <laughs> take this. Whoa there. Really? Really, Riley? Alright, next next shot will be a Hoffin, since he wants it from the Hoffin so bad. I can see how uh Advancing sexually attracted he is to it, so how can I deny this man this pleasure? Fire. Well, this got nasty. Bye. Oh, I felt that. I think it's time we head our separate ways, honey. Gentlemen's gotta know when to pull out. Oh, God. Oh, but we'll have more time together soon. 
Why do you have to say it like that? Target destroyed. Very good. You don't have to say it like that, but you do. Alright, now I can back this thing up against a wall and just not worry about Lancers showing up behind us, shooting us in the radiator. Alright, that's taken care of now. I'm trying to think of what other problems we really have right now that need to be addressed. Um, I'm actually going to move them Turn back to, to the edge of this base camp because I don't know what's coming. Plus, they can uh, repair these barricades, so... I can actually use them as cover. And lastly, let's... Let's heal up Ryan. Oops. Let's use an order healing request on Ryan. Squaddy, here are your orders. We have to treat our wounded. The cactus didn't even have to go down. I expected to sacrifice that damn thing, but I didn't. No soldiers died yet either. Could still happen, though. Alright, that's taken care of. Got that. Oh! That's it! Operation complete. I better get an S rank for that one. No soldiers down, took out the enemy boss, killed nearly everyone on the map. Come in, Todd. Can you hear me? Minerva. You're okay. I can't believe you held out this long. All personnel are confirmed to be evacuated. All right. Mission complete, everyone. Now it's our turn to fall back. Tanks, cover the infantry. Infantry, run like the wind. Easy, huh? So it's Squad E. You sure showed me a good time. But it's my turn next. And I'll find a way. Why do you have to be like this? You're all mine now, soulmate. Why can't you... Why are you... You're being like Char right now. That's what you're being like. Why does everyone in the freaking Empire Tank Division have to be so weird? The last guy had that ram skull on his shoulder. Now you. I got a C? I couldn't have... Well, I guess if I captured the base faster, but... What? What do you... What, what, what do you want from me? What do you want from me, video game? Wait, what? What is that? That, that looks like a... Is that a mortar? I think it's a mortar. It looks more like an anti-tank gun. You certainly impressed someone in that last battle. HQ sent you something nice as a reward. Did I? Because they gave me a C. Two sniper rifles, a lance, a mortar. Alright. Huh? We already caught up to the others? I honestly wish every single game nowadays had an auto-advance option. Rompa had it. Like, every game with dialogue nowadays, it should become a standard to have an auto-advance option for dialogue. Um, uh, I mean, I don't use it here because I like to stop and talk between while people are speaking. But in a lot of video games, like, I recently played the Final Fantasy XIV expansion Shadowbringers, and having that option made it feel like a movie and less like something I had to click through, you know? It was more immersive. But in this instance, I don't use it. We haven't even been going that fast. I have a lot of wounded, and the cold doesn't help. It's no wonder they're moving slowly. Claude! We just received a transmission! All units that fought in the Battle of Zeekfall were counterattacked by the Empire. What? It sounds like everyone except us was completely routed. Oh, jeez. Our entire battalion routed? Is it safe to take this path? Aren't the Imperials just going to chase us down? 
damn, so no matter what we do... I don't know. All I can say for sure is that we've been put on the defensive. You can't be serious. One loss was enough for them to take it all back? <sighs> October, 1935 EC. The insidious chill of winter arrived far earlier than usual in the north. Caught between the cold and vicious counterattack from the Empire, Operation Northern Cross fell apart. The Edinburgh army was routed. The soldiers who survived were forced to scatter as they fled, freezing, hungry, and bitter. And the once hopeful Federation had been driven into a cold, dark corner. So it really makes me wonder what's going to happen to our squad after this. Are we trapped out here with no contact and we kind of have to do our own thing? Or are we trying to get back to base and see what we can do? How far are we walking anyway? We haven't had a break since morning. I don't know how much more I can take. Hmm. Huh. This is strange. Aren't they going the wrong way? I thought we were heading back to Einhemd. That's south, right? But the troops are heading west. From here on, we'll avoid all cities, towns, and villages. We're also bypassing all major roads. Einhemd has already been reclaimed by the Empire. Our goal is 150 kilometers west of here. 150 kilometers west? But that's on the Empire's coast, isn't it? This is a direct order from General Edmonds at HQ. Once there, we'll be given new orders. That's all we can tell you. All radio communication is now prohibited, with HQ or even other squads. If we're heading west, that means going over the mountains. The snow has to be piling up. I don't know if we can make it with our current equipment. They tell me this operation is critical if we want to regain our footing in the war. With the rest of the army routed, are the only ones left who can still mobilize. Command knows these conditions aren't ideal, but they're counting on you. Commander. <sighs> Understood. Godspeed. Hey, look. Einhem's clock tower is getting farther away. Man, wish I'd save some of that jerky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a thing to be worried about right now. Wait, what's that over there? Oh, no. Oh, just a scarecrow, huh? That is not a scarecrow, that's the shop guy. No mercy at all? It's because he sold parts to us. No, that's... <laughs> Riley, don't look. Why are you telling her not to look? She's part of the military. Uh, that's... That's the old man from the parts shop. They made an example out of him. Nobody's going to risk supplying the Federation now. No! No! Right. They'll kill whoever they want just to make a point. Same shit they've always pulled. They want to make examples out of people? Fine. I'm gonna do the same damn thing to them. Raz! War makes you forget the value of life. That's true for us and them. Don't give in to hate. But don't turn your eyes away from this either. This is why we're fighting the Empire. We're gonna make sure tragedies like this can't happen again. I won't. I'll never forget this. Damn. Everything really did go downhill. Chapter 7. A March in the Snow. So things are really starting to kick up now. Uh, we're... We're in a bad position. We're surrounded. There's really nowhere to go. All we have is some vague order from HQ, which... By the way, we do not have correct... Or direct contact with. Like we did with Squad 7. HQ's just... Vaguely sending out messages like, hey, can you do this? And you're like, sure, but why? And they're like, hey, thanks, bye. <laughs> you know? 
A uh, very different situation from Squad 7. We're dealing with a lot more. We're fighting the environment. Uh, we're fighting with our own lack of information and lack of resources. As where Squad 7 was dealing with these death charges that they were being told to go on, we have the exact opposite issue. We have a complete lack of communication. So, it's interesting to see. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I really did enjoy recording it. This mission was a lot of fun. This last map had me guessing and moving soldiers around everywhere. Um, to the best of my abilities. I still don't know why it gave me a C. I'm very upset about that. I felt like I did very good considering the situation. Anyways, if you guys liked today's video, please leave a like. And tell me if you're enjoying the series or not. Um, I know a lot of people are. Probably a lot of people. I'm hoping to get around the end of the series by the time Three Houses comes out. I don't think I'll be finishing it that early because... From some people I hear this game, yeah, this game's about as long as VC1. And I go, okay, that's cool. And I have other people like, no, this game's 40 to 60 hours. And I'm like, what? So I don't know how long it's going to take, but it's fine. I'm in no rush. Uh, yeah, see you next time. Right now.